Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is another Deke J. Wilson uh, CTE video on a STEM topic. This particular video is on uh, programming a robot to turn left, or actually just to turn, in Robot C. Again, Robot C is a very awesome software. Um, it can be used for programming VEX. Uh, or Lego Mindstorms robots. It's really, really, really pretty, really, really good. Um, the interface that we're using today, this is a graphical interface um, that we're using. There's also a native language script or interface that you can use that will allow you to program in the actual language of C. Um, but uh, for my class, we specifically will use the graphical interface. Well, some more of my advanced students will uh, program in C. All right. So getting through all of that, um, let me give you a, a few updates because I'm not sure if you saw any of the previous videos on the kind of a basics of Robot C on this graphical interface. We have uh, this pretty much kind of like block programming. And on, on the left-hand side, we have our program flow blocks. And these are what I would call like our conditional statements. So those of you that have any idea or know what programming or or have experienced programming, these are those conditional statements. Then you have your variables. And then underneath your variables, the two main things that will, or programming or commands that we'll use, or we'll call them simple behaviors and motor commands. Okay, simple behaviors are just that. It's a simple stand up or stand, simple move forward, move back, turn left, turn right, move a motor. It's no thinking involved. I'm just telling the robot what to do. Now, your motor commands, this is where it really gets fun because you can program your robot to actually do specific things. You can program it to kind of think on its own, okay? So for this particular program, again, we're going to show you how to make your robot turn left, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two of these set motor blocks, okay? And... Um, this particular program, I'm programming my robot to turn, to make a 90 degree uh, turn to the left, okay? So it's not, it's gonna be more like a, a, a tank turn, so it's gonna turn directly to the left. So I'm gonna say, uh, my left motor, I want it to be negative 25% power, and then I wanna make my right motor positive 25% power, okay? Now, remember, whenever you use a motor command, you always have to use one of these program flow statements or a conditional uh, uh, statement, okay? So I'm going to say, wait until, do this until my gyroscope sensor, and I'm going to click on here, my gyroscope heading. And one of the things to always remember for this, for, for this particular robot, Okay, and when you guys actually will build your own different robots, you're going to have to figure this out. But for this particular robot, when it turns to the left, it's always turning in the negative direction. When it's turning to the right, it's turning in the positive direction. So when I'm turning left, I'm going negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. When I'm turning to the right, I'm going one, two, three, four, and so forth. Okay, so since we're making a left turn, I want to say do this until my gyroscope sensor is less than or equal to negative 90, okay? Now, once I've done that, I wanna save this. Uh, it's already saved. And then I'm gonna download it to my robot. Oh, we did that already. Okay. So now I'm going to press play on my robot virtual worlds. And now my robot's going to turn left. And you see it pretty much almost made that perfect 90 degree turn. Okay. So that's what we would call a point turn in, um, in robot C. Okay. All right. So this is a, uh, a great video. Actually, I'm going to show you how to make a, a programming robot to make a right turn. So, to make a right turn, you're just going to you're going to going to switch these. Okay, so I'm going to have my left motor go positive, and then I'm going to have my right motor go negative. 
But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this around. Since I'm turning to the positive direction and I want to turn to 90 degrees, I want to, I want to put my gyro sensor. So, so wait until my gyro sensor is greater than or equal to 90 degrees. Okay, so now when I download this to my robot, okay, now when I start my program, press play, it's going to turn that 90 degrees, okay, to the opposite direction. So that's how you would get your robot to turn. And again, you can make this whatever you want. You can make it 45 degrees, you can make it 180 degrees. But that is how you would get your robot to turn. All right, so that's the point turn in Robot C. Again, thanks for watching the video. Please like the video um, and wa continue watching. To remember, st go build something cool. Hashtag go build something cool. Hashtag go build something cool. I said it three times, so hopefully you remember. All right, like the video.